Yeah, yeah. It's Radio the Pause, your boy Q. It's Fresh and Proper Radio. And it's Chris Shields in the building. What I am. Yes, sir, man. We ain't here, man. Sitting back, kicking it, man. Talking about some good things going on, man. Very good things, man. I was talking off the air. I'm like, man, you the first local cat, you know what I'm saying, that I done actually took the time out and, and put on my iPod. And that's big. That's big business, man. I appreciate how do, you, that. how do you feel, like, in terms of, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot of rappers out now who's getting shine, who some people might say they ain't even really that good. Right. How do you feel, like, it? you think you're overlooked? And, and, and how is it to be in that position if you think that's that's what it is? I don't really think I'm overlooked. I just think I'm like, I think I'm the best rapper you never heard of. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think once people get familiar with, you know, who is Chris Shields, I think, you know what I'm saying, immediately you'll be drawn in. Mm -hmm. You know, because everything you get from me is 100% real. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really speak about nothing that, you know, I haven't been through or nothing I've done. And plus, you know, I just give you what a what an average listener wants, you know? Mm -hmm. You're gonna get good music, and that's what it is. Yeah. Being from Maywood, how was that come out in, in, in your rhymes? A lot of cats oh. is from Chicago, but but not specifically Maywood. You can kind of claim and rep both parts of the city. Right, Maywood, man, I really want to put Maywood on the map, man. Ain't no uh -huh. place like home, you know what I mean? Right. Chicago is cool, you know? A lot of people say Chicago, because when you go somewhere else, if I say Maywood, right. you ain't gonna know what I'm talking about. Right. But, you know, I, I definitely feel like, you know, I've kind of, I don't even want to say I've gave Maywood a name, because that, that just, nah. I just, mm -hmm. you know, I gave Maywood something else different, man. Like, when I go places and I say I'm from Maywood, uh -huh. and people who like my, you know, my music and say, man, you know, I just met a guy from Maywood, you know, let me see what's going on with Maywood. Yeah. Maywood got a rich history of, of, you know, basketball, you know. Yes. Got football players, you know, just everything, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I just feel like I'm just adding on to, you know, what what the people before me have done. Like my man Tony Baines, man, I know he's listening in, man. That's my my good dude. You know, everybody know who Baines is, so I ain't got to get into that. But uh, <laughs> Baines, what up, though? You are uh, from what I just seen, you know, in the past past few days. It was a, a, a track with a bunch of Maywood cats yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, the, the Murder Wills Takeover. Talk about that track and, and talk about Maywood Hip Hop. Um, That track consisted of three different crews, GMS, um, CLE, and um, 100 Grand. Um, that was just something, you know, we just wanted to do something like, um, what was that joint called with Khaled and all them on there? Um, I'm so I'm hood. So hood. Yeah, something mm -hmm. like that, you know what I mean? Just just give it a, a, a Murder Wills feel to it, you know, and... Um, you know, we put that together and, you know, people really been, you know, really, really loving what they've been hearing from that. So, you know, that's that's always a good thing, you know, and especially to see, you know, people from Maywood, you know, eight eight different people, three different crews, all on one track showing love. You know, that don't that don't happen too often, man. You get a lot a lot more hate from other crews than you than you get love. So, you know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful thing right there. Definitely. Is is Maywood hip hop something that's growing? Uh or just speak about the current I, state. I, I think Maywood Hip Hop is definitely growing, um, but now I'm not even going to say growing because, you know, like I said, there was a lot of people who, who paved the way, you know, before, you know, our current generation was doing it, but um, I think now it's just, you know, it's definitely more and more people who's who getting involved into it, and, um, you know, it's definitely a lot of people who are trying to represent it right, you know, the people who are not trying to represent it right, you know, I mean, it is what it is, they're going to get pushed to the wayside anyway just because, mm -hmm. You know, real recognized, real. But um, definitely. Maywood hip hop is definitely growing, man. And you know, I just I like to think that I, you know, I'm one of the people who who definitely contribute into that. And um, it's beautiful, man. What's uh some of your influences? Who who, who did you hear that, that made you be like, man, I gotta do this. I gotta rap. You know what I'm saying? Man, you know, I know a lot of people probably say this name. But um, Jigga, man, the first time I heard Reasonable Doubt, man, uh -huh. Reasonable Doubt was like my favorite album ever, man. Uh -huh. Like, you know, just, man, I, I get speechless talking about Reasonable Doubt. Like, like, that's seriously like my favorite album ever. I can still listen to that right now, like it's 95, 96, man. Uh -huh. um, just once I heard that, you know, it was just like, man, you know, I want to be able to tell my story and paint pictures for people just like Jigga did on Reasonable Doubt. Uh -huh. But I would say my, my flow, if I could be compared to anybody, 
I'm more of a like a fabulous type rapper, you know. Okay. I'm a I'm a ladies man, you know that type. <laughs> of, you know what I'm saying like the smooth guy with uh -huh. the you know the hot metaphors. That's that's more kind of my style though. But, okay. But Jigga definitely was the one who got me very interested in rapping. I like that. Uh, I like that comparison. Uh, last couple people I interviewed, I had to ask that the auto tune. What you think? Uh, the auto tune. Death the auto tune, man, is crazy, man. Um. Only Jigga could do that, man. Mm -hmm. Only Jigga could do that and, and get the response like he has gotten from that record. You know, I was in Miami. You know, I might check my Facebook or something, and I kept seeing people, you know, yeah, Facebooking yeah. about it. So I'm like, man, I can't wait till I get home to hear what it's talking about. And the first time I heard it, man, I just like, man, you know, that's it's the truth, though. You know, uh -huh. it's definitely the truth, man. You know, everybody wanna, you know, do the auto tune thing. Not knocking anybody who's doing it, but. You know, it's just like, come on, man. Yeah. Like, let's get back to, you know what I'm saying, spitting bobs. Right. That's what I want to see. I want to see people spitting <laughs> bobs, man. I don't want to hear you singing and all that. I want to I want to see some bobs. Uh-huh. So. You saying that current state of, of, of hip-hop in general, then, what you think? Ah, oh, man. It's kind of crazy, man, because music is just like anything, man. It's, everybody going to have their opinion on it, mm -hmm. you know? A lot of people want to say, well, man, I don't want to be a backpack, or I don't want to be a dope boy, or... I don't want to hit this. I don't want to hit that. But so you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't really say the game is messed up, or you, you just can't really say that because it's gonna always be an audience for no matter what type right. of music it is. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know. But me personally, I would like to get back to more of the rapping and more of the raw music and mm -hmm. more of the lyricist style as opposed to you know the singing and the auto tune and then the you know the dance songs. And I, I'm, I'm not really into that. You know, I ain't no. I ain't an old guy, but I ain't a young guy. Right, you know right, I mean? right. So that's what that is. Uh, you mentioned earlier, you know what I'm saying, compared yourself to, to Fabulous, Ladies Man, we're going to move to the joint. I love them all. Oh, man. Talk about that, man. I love them all. It's my favorite record off of me, yeah. Um, just the whole feel of the record. And, you know, like I said, I'm a ladies man, so it was only right that, you know, I let them know I love them all, man. Uh huh. I, I like the production on the on the whole. Uh, let me hear who who did this one. Um, Mark Bird, one third of Project Fresh, did that right there. That's my man, Mark Bird. What up? All right, then here we go. It's Chris Shields, Radio DePaul. I love them all.